do anything for club. Got these Nike Tech uh, Sherpa kind of like fur joggers. Retail is 120. Marshall's price 25. These are easy $75. Loud ass cart. These are easy uh, $75 plus. But I would definitely price on the high end and just wait for the sale. I mean, somebody's going to buy these uh, for Christmas. But we got a Nike SB box. Here we go. Bro. Man, what the f*** is this, man? So somebody returned a, one of the new mag adapts. It's 30% off. There's also like this Nike ID internationalist and like a shadow colorway. It's only 30 minus 30 and I got another 10. So it's going to be like shit, like $18 or something like that. So I'm going to grab these two. We got the Levi's One Shadows. Man, these are nice. Yeah, yo. This is an interesting uh, custom. Hello, I'd like to interrupt this real quick to review those two shoes you saw. Excuse me, Chase. Oh, for real? Okay. First, we have the bread toe in GS size. I think it's like a 6Y or whatever. But, man, super clean, real nice. Paid a lot, man. I paid $200 for these, but I could sell these for around $350 to maybe $400. It was worth picking up for $200. Definitely money to be made in these. And then I got these 2011 Concords. Paid $85 for these. These are in perfect condition. It's even still like icy here, but yellow around the pods. But yeah, patent leather looks great. I mean, barely worn. Still got the uh, shoe trees. I paid 86 for these. Um, I think I got them listed for like 275, super high. But I mean, it should get at least, at least 200 minimum. I mean, there's some people that actually prefer these over the new ones because they like the uh, low cut patent leather. So. $86, another good pickup.
And real quick, so you saw those fragment ones in there for $800, man. $800. So I did my little legit check on them. And unfortunately, they're fake. And it was like the easiest legit check ever. So the size tag has a UPC. And I don't remember if they were like size eight, eight and a half or whatever. But I looked up the UPC for that size and it wasn't even the right UPC. So the tag had the wrong UPC number for that size. Chase, tell them those fragments are fake. See? Back to the video. So Saturday morning right now, I'm going to pick up these uh, Volt Gold Jordan 1s. Uh, I got two pairs. I got an adult size and a GS size. Um, so after I pick them up, we'll take a quick look at them and uh, check them out. So I picked up these Jordan Bolt Golds, man. Listen, I know the word on the street is that nobody wants these. But seriously, I think you guys are tripping, man. I mean, these are pretty nice, man. I mean, they got like nice leather. I mean, the sail actually is kind of nice like that with the midsole and the tongue matching each other. And they got like this foam right here. And I heard these are actually really limited because of the whole Rona shutting down factories and stuff like that. So I'm telling you, I don't know how long, but these things are going to be 350 plus probably within a year. And I can only get an 11. I'm an 11 and a half. So it's probably a good thing that they're too small because I'm pretty sure I would actually keep these. Alright, so I left that uh, Nike. Got one thing. Jordan box. Women's. So it's these ugly ass mids. I mean, bread toe, patent leather, white, blue, green. This ugly ass uh, pull tab for no reason. Got the little 23 there. Yeah, man, uh, these retail for 125 reselling in this size for like 160 but I got them for $89.99 minus 30%. So I paid like $60 for these. I'm pretty decent at math. That's close to $100, man. So that's a good pickup from Nike. $62.99. How the hell? So it's $89.99 minus $27. That's $62.99. So I know you guys want to get like me and learn how to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and link my course below. Uh, it is only three payments of $800. So if you're interested, go ahead. And I'm going to have a Discord and I'm going to have all of that. Um, so yeah, it's very limited. It's only going to be limited to the first 2,000 people. So go ahead and click the link below.